Daryl Lennington here from ITNewsAfrica.com and I'm here with Akram Mohammed, who's going to be giving us an overview of Huawei's latest device, the Mate 10. So good to have you here today. Uh, so could you tell us a little bit about the features of the Huawei Mate 10? Well, thank you for having us here, but before we go into the features, this is a stunning, amazing Huawei Mate 10 Pro. I see it's got a good build quality to it, so it's fiddling around with it earlier. Yeah, it's, it's a brilliant build quality. It's made out of metal as well as glass in the back. Um, as you can see, it's a very slim profile. Being a six inch device, to be able to have this kind of slim profile has been, is quite amazing. And we managed to do that by making the screen ratio 18 to 9 aspect ratio, so it makes it much slimmer while having a larger surface area for viewing. But the interesting thing and the great story around this phone is that we are building it as the world's first intelligent device. Right. Now, the last major change we've seen in the mobile space has been the shift from feature phone to smartphone. Yeah. It completely changed the way we interact with our devices, and since then, there's been no real serious game changer. Whereas now, we're introducing the Mate 10 Pro with the Mate 10 series with an embedded MPU. Now, the MPU is a neural processing unit that's put into the device that basically replicates the processes that takes place in the human brain. And for the first time, we are able to allow a phone to think and to learn over time. Yeah. So it's a phone with smarts, and that's why we're calling it the intelligent phone. Some of the examples of what it would do with this in the real world, the benefits, it will firstly increase performance. So speed will be, you'll see a noticeable difference in your daily performance. Power consumption will be enhanced as well. But image recognition. So we've, we always made great camera phones and the Leica brand that endorses this will tell you a lot about that. We've now integrated the NPU into the camera lenses. So every time you point your phone at an object, mm -hmm. it's able to see and it's able to recognize and transfer that information. So automatically setting the settings for you, you don't have to be a pro to get the best images in the future. Yeah. So you mentioned the Mate 10 series. So obviously it consists of the Pro. Which other devices does it consist of? Um, globally, we have the Mate 10 the standard Mate 10, the Pro and a Mate 10 Porsche design. All right. um, in South Africa, we will be launching the Mate 10 Pro, which is the higher spec version compared to the standard one, and we'll also be launching the Porsche design as a limited edition. Okay, just to get it out of the way, when is the launch date for the Mate 10 Pro? The official launch date in South Africa is the 6th of November. Right. Uh, we will have it live streamed on YouTube um, between 6 and 10 p.m. On, uh, on the 6th of November. Okay, perfect. Now. Looking at other devices compared to the Mate 10 Pro, what different, differentiates this device from those? I think uh, what we just spoke about especially is that um, it's able to learn over time and it customizes to you. There's no other phone in the market that has hardware-based AI right now. Now when we talk about artificial intelligence, many people associate it with a virtual assistant. This is very different. We're not selling a virtual assistant, but rather an AI computing platform yeah. that learns over time and is able to build because it has this brain. And that's what the main differentiator is, is that um, it enhances and customizes its capability so it becomes smarter and faster the longer you use it. Okay. And then what's the battery life on the design? I, I noticed that you mentioned earlier today that uh, it's got a 4,000 milliamp battery in it. Yes. So it's got a high density 4000 milliamp battery crammed into this kind of size of the device which is impressive on its own but we also have power saving modes to enhance that battery power and ultra power saving mode that could get you a full day's usage on just 20% of battery power remaining okay. and over and above that we have supercharge. Now supercharge is around 400% faster than the next competitor available in the market. And this device is also the world's first phone to be safety certified by TUV Redland. No other device has that safety for certification for its fast charging capabilities. Right. So let's move away from power and AI mm -hmm. and into what everyone enjoys about a phone, the camera. So what cameras does this device actually have on it? This device is running a Leica dual camera setup. It has a 20 megapixel monochrome and a 12 megapixel color lens working in tandem. Uh, both lenses are f1.6 aperture, so amazing for low light photography. Technically, combining f1.6 together in dual lenses will take, well, should give you around an f1.1 aperture. So low light photography will be incredible. But again, because we've integrated the AI into it, now everything your camera looks at is able to identify. So an example, point the phone at scenery or a sunset, and it will be able to identify that and automatically pre-program your settings for you. Point it at your pet or a person or maybe a tree or a pot plant 
and again it will condition itself and put in the settings so you don't have to be a pro to use this camera setup. Right. So I see the pro doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack on it. Yes. Uh, how does that work in essence with the earphones that come with the device? So the earphones that come with the device is a Type-C earphone. Okay. Um, and the reason we've done that is, and it's going via Type-C, is we've enhanced the quality. So you've now got high-res audio on this device. Mm -hmm. And it works better via the Type-C protocol, and therefore we put that in. But also, because this is Huawei's first attempt at water resistant. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this device comes in at IP67 water resistant, and it's another reason why we've moved it to 3.5 water. Okay, so moving on to the other features and finalizing this interview, tell me a little bit about the computer technology and connectivity when it comes to the device. So we wanted to make this device your true mate or your true companion in yeah. terms of business, lifestyle, everything. And what we've done is we've, offered, we've now added a function called PC in hand. So just with a type C to USB cable, you'll be able to plug the device into any large screen and have a full desktop experience. So you'll be able to have your PowerPoint presentations, your Word documents, internet, and feel as if though you haven't moved for a second away from your computer. Um, but also, on the same note, you'll be able to transfer that into a phone mode. So you mirror your screen and also use it as a gaming console, or use it as a large screen to watch Netflix or YouTube and all of those kind of content. Um, you've got a multimedia device and a business device. What is interesting about this is, if you plug it in, and a lot of the competitors, as soon as you plug it into a screen, if you receive a call or you receive notifications, it will pop up on the large screen. Yeah. Privacy is very important. But when you plug in the Mate 10 Pro, it keeps phone on phone and your desktop on the large screen. So you don't have that interruption at all. Um, and I think that there is a huge benefit. Also, if you get the Porsche design version, and the Porsche design version, as I said, is limited, it's running on dual SIM technology, which is dual LTE. So you are able to run an internet connection session on the desktop mode, and while that is live, still run an internet connection on your phone and have two separate um, viewing experiences at the same time. All right, perfect. So that's everything that you need to know about the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Pleasure.